Hi family, hi family. This is Mo with Moya Body Care and Colon Hydrotherapy. And I am your favorite colon hydrotherapist that practices the art of internal detoxification through the use of colon hydrotherapy herbs and natural living. And I am your favorite colon hydrotherapist that is going to share with you um, just, you know, how my, my little brain works. Like literally, um, I've been wanting to do this video for a while, but I keep forgetting to do it. And so I was preparing for a client last week <clears throat> and I was walking down uh, my hallway, coming to the front from the back, from my back office. And um, what was I getting ready to do? I know I was preparing for my client, but somehow, oh, so I had to use the restroom as I was walking down the hall and I was like, oh, I have to use the restroom. So I'll go ahead and go to the restroom. So for some strange odd reason, when I have to use the restroom, I always take my two hands and I kind of rub on my belly like this. And then I kind of hold my belly until I get to the restroom. And I think maybe I'm just like energetically like preparing my, my bladder for release. I just kind of dialogued about that with myself right before. Like, why do I do that? And so as I touch my sides and then move my hands like to the front of my abdomen, I was like, oh, girl, you're so squishy. Like, you feel good, right? And I just started feeling my skin and feeling my back, and it's not, like, tight and tense. And I started, like, feeling my skin and just kind of feeling my arms and just feeling myself, like, literally feeling myself, right? And just feeling my hands, and I started feeling my neck. And just, you know, how do I feel in my body? And when I did that, I felt good. My body felt good. My heart space felt good. I had on the right bra, like my panties was sitting right on my hips, you know, everything just kind of felt good. My eyebrows was on straight and I was like, we're doing some things right. So my question to you would be, have you felt yourself? Like, do you feel your own hands? Like, do your hands feel calloused? Do they feel dry? Do they feel like restrictive and hard have you felt your skin lately does your skin feel like soft and smooth and you just want to keep rubbing it like my my great niece who is um it's the youngest one she's two i have two great nieces and one is three and one is two and the one that's the youngest she always go oh tt <laughs> and it's the it's the most precious thing ever and i just look at her and i go girl i got you don't worry about nothing like your skin is already perfect it's already perfect we're gonna keep it perfect but you know do you ever feel your lips and go mm, yeah my lips are ashy do they feel smooth to you like right now my lips feel smooth but three days ago they wasn't but you know i'm working on now i'm working on my hydration just feeling my skin it feels good to me like i feel my jaw and there's no like stress or like tightness but if it was i you know if you feel yourself you would do things like this to like uh massage your face like just that just feels really good you know so my question to you is have you stopped for a second today or this week i know it's only tuesday but have you checked in with your heart space have you checked in with how like your hair feels does your hair feel dry does it look dry like how do you feel in the body that you're in? Have you checked like in with your shoulders? Are your shoulders out of your ears? And even the middle of your back, like how does your back feel? Um, one thing that I love to do in the morning is that I have a um, natural bristle brush with a long handle. And I put um, Castile Rose Soap on my, um, my brush. And I go up and down my spine like 30, 45 times, like boom, 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 boom. And I literally am just sitting there. I swear to God, if the water wasn't on me, I would be slobbing like straight up. And it just feels so good. And like when you get into your bed from taking a hot shower, how does your sheets feel up against your bed? Or I mean, up against your skin, not up against your bed, up against your skin. Like, do you you know, slide in it and everything is like silky smooth or is your hangnails from your dry feet like snatching the sheets and all that good stuff, you know? Check in with your body. Just just, just check in with your body. Um, You know, if, if you have, like, let's say, for instance, this is your side of your, your foot, right? And if you have this much dead skin on the edges of your foot,
Hmm. That tells me that you're not caring for yourself. That is a telltale sign that tells me you are not caring for yourself. You're literally getting in the shower and out. You're not scrubbing. You're not rushing. I mean, um, washing. Like, when I get to my feet and when I, and I feel my... And I did feel my feet this morning as I was putting on my oil. And just feeling my body and feeling my calves. And I just massaged the oil into my feet and everything. And I was like, oh, all my feet feel really nice. It's comfortable. Then I slide my warm socks on. And then I put my shoes on. I'm ready for the day. But... Are you doing that for yourself? Like a lot of the aches and pains and just the crappy feeling that we have with our body, we have those feelings because we're really not taking care of our body on a very simplistic, slow, intentional level. Does that make sense? Like every morning and every night, I take a shower in the morning and take probably most likely, well, I think I take more baths and showers, honestly. I do take more baths and showers. So I may take a bath in the morning and then a shower at night or vice versa, but most likely I am probably taking a bath once a day, I think. I am, I'm gonna go ahead and say I am. So um, when I do that, when I get out the bathtub or the shower, I oil up from head to toe and I have a little stool I sit on and like in my little bathroom area. And I just take my time and I oil my body up. So I'm looking at my skin. I'm looking at my, you know, dryness, if there's any dryness like there is right now. And then, you know, I'll just massage my body and just really focus on like what's happening here um i was talking to my mom this morning and she asked me if i had got a mammogram recently and i said i probably haven't had a mammogram since my son has been born at six he's 16 now and she's like well why and i said well i massage my breast every morning and every night so i give myself a breast exam two times a day i have yet to feel anything in my breast and i also steam my breast and my underarm two times a week with a facial steamer. So I just lift my breast up. I ain't got that much to lift, but I lift it up and I let the steam steam over my breast and I do the other side and I do my underarm and I do my underarm and then I do my neck. I do my neck, I do my ears, I do my face. Like I do all of that. And my mom is like, really? Mama. Yes, yes. So anyway, try that. Because it is a beautiful thing to do. Like, and you know that I do yoni steaming as well. Steaming your breasts is like the next best thing. And maybe I will do a uh, breast steaming video. I'm not steaming my breasts on video, just an FYI. But I'm going to tell you the benefits of steaming your breast. Okay? Because I know I got some interesting people who follow me. Okay. So with that being said, um, go out and touch yourself. Yep, touch yourself Tuesday. Oh, touch yourself Tuesday. This came up with something new. Touch yourself Tuesday. Touch your neck. Touch the back of your neck. Touch your shoulders. Touch your hands. Touch your arms. Touch your hips. Touch your belly. And just see how your body feels. And if you don't like the way that your body feels, you can change it. You can change your soap. You can use um, natural bristle brushes. You can get loofahs. You can do all that. Yeah. So go out and touch yourself. Enjoy all of the exploration that you're going to find um, with all that. And I am not responsible for whatever happens at the end of you touching yourself. Okay. <laughs> so with that, go off and be great. My name is Mo with Moya Body Care and Colon Hydrotherapy. I am your favorite colon hydrotherapist. My private office is located in Torrance, California, and my website is Moya, M-O-Y-A, bodycare.com. Phone number 562-682-0818. Until then, go out there and love the world.